Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be doing the 8th part of this A-level math series. Um, today we're going to be covering the equation of a circle, the Cartesian equation of a circle, how to derive the radius from that equation of the circle, and what the center is of that circle. Okay, so the equation of a, a circle is x subtract a squared plus y subtract b squared is equal to r squared assuming that the radius is r and the center is a comma b what this means is that if we want to find the radius we can um, once we've solved this we can just square root this side and we know the radius of the circle and since it the center is a comma b to find the um to find the center we can just make it since it's negative here we can just make it negative a comma negative b is the solution which we can derive from here since it's negative and the two negatives would cancel out so for example for this one negative five um negative two then we added the negative so we get five comma two and that would be the center Okay, since the A level standard is to be able to derive from the um, for, um, for us to be able to derive the center and the radius from a circle, and we only need to know the formula for the circle, this won't be that long of a topic. And to be honest, we can do this in like six minutes. But first, just to test your understanding to make sure you can move on to the next topic, transformations, do this question. Um, find the radius and the center. If you like to do this, please pause. Otherwise, I'm going to start explaining. So first, just write down the um, the, gen the rule. It's quite helpful, even if you remember it by heart, just write it down since probably in since writing down your work is something you really should get into the habit of anyway don't forget that a comma b was the center and r squared is 49 so to find the center we just put negative a sorry we put negative negative a since it's a negative a and we put negative negative b since this is negative b okay so three so since it was plus three, we put negative two, that negative a. Then we get subtract three, comma. Here it's subtract four, negative negative four, which is four. That's our center. And don't forget that r squared is 49. So the square root of 49 is seven. So the radius is equal to 47. Center equal to negative three, comma four. Now we're moving on to a new topic entirely, mechanics. We're going to start with kinematics and specifically the Suvat rule. You, this is a mnemonic which you have to remember. So, displacement, displacement is equal to S, initial velocity is equal to U, final velocity is equal to V, acceleration is equal to A, well, actually constant acceleration is equal to A, and time is equal to t. Okay, let's begin with the kinematic equations. This isn't a kinematic equation, but I, this will just help you derive the first kinematic equation. Well, we know that acceleration is equal to the final velocity subtract initial velocity over time. Thus, we can derive the velocity, the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus um, the acceler constant acceleration multiplied by time. And now for the second kinematic equation, we know that the um, definition of displacement is acceleration multiplied by time, right? And average acceleration multiplied by time. So what is the average acceleration? Well, it's the initial velocity plus the final velocity divided by two. Mult and since it's the average velocity multiplied by t, then we get this as our second as our second kinematic equation. And here are the remaining um, kinematic equations. S is equal to ut plus one half multiplied by at squared 
and velocity squared is equal to u squared plus sorry um ve final velocity squared is equal to initial initial velocity squared plus two times um a, a constant acceleration multiplied by displacement the reason why i can't um, tell you exactly how these are derived is since we don't have enough time thank you everyone for watching hope you enjoyed um, next video we're going to be finishing off kinematics and next video we might even get on to um statistics at a level but i'm not sure also this isn't the end of mechanics at a level this is just the beginning it's kind of an introduction we could have done travel graphs this ep um, episode but i thought it would be better not to since travel graphs are, are learnt in gcse's as well i think